For some reason, the illusion just can't be kept up any longer. I don't know why. Maybe that's an effect of the tower falling, or maybe the tower falling is an effect of the fact that the illusion just can't be kept up. And it could be something as trivial as somebody got caught in a lie that created a domino effect or a chain reaction that brought down all these different pieces of the puzzle and now it's leaving things bare for everyone to see. Hey there, Ophiuchus. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So, welcome to your general monthly reading for the month of April of 2021. Yes, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, um, this, this is a general energy reading as well. So we can be talking about anything here. We can talk about love, career, family, friends, interpersonal relationships, whatever, yeah? Also, keep in mind that because this is a general reading, the roles can be reversed. So if I'm narrating the story in a certain way, but that doesn't necessarily resonate with you, but it would resonate with you if you were to switch the roles, then please place it into your life in that way. Just make sure not to place anything in your life that does not naturally fit there, yeah? If you are interested in getting a private reading with me, I am available for that. All the information for that can be found in the description box below. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader and you would like some extra monthly content, I highly recommend that you check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash divine conversations. That can also be found in the description box below. We did a lot, we do a lot of great uh, extra stuff there. That's like a big group of friends that just comes together and like shoots the shit and we have a lot of great fun. Um, uh, keep in mind that daily content is no longer available on Patreon any longer. It has since migrated back to YouTube in the form of Morning Coffee as of April 1st, yes. But we do still do a lot of great extra stuff, like if you're looking for monthly Zodiac love readings, so monthly readings for each Zodiac sign, that is available on Patreon, plus a bunch of extra things, yes? All right, <clears throat> Ophiuchus, this month... We are using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for our tarot deck, and then we will be getting Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. Since we're in the spring season, the unicorns were calling to me, so that's where we're getting our Oracle Guidance from. Yes? All right, Ophiuchus, let's get into your energies here. So pre-shuffle, um, as I was connecting with your energy and as I was feeling through, you know, just connecting and starting to get a vibe for you, um, I started to see green. And that spoke to a heart chakra opening, a heart chakra awareness, but specifically what I felt in that energy was, and please excuse me, it's super windy this morning, so that's, you're probably hearing the effects of that. I'm sorry about that, but um, specifically what I was feeling in that green heart chakra energy for you, Ophiuchus, was a sense of validation. And it was interesting because I was like, huh, I wonder why this is happening and you know things were coming up like well I'm reading for Ophiuchus right now so that's another individual that's out here um, validating you and, and showing support and, and recognizing you and all that stuff so that's great that's kind of what it felt like at first but then it was still like no no there's something else going on here that is causing a sense of validation I mean I'm also hearing actually showing up for oneself so in your pre shuffle at the bottom of the deck you do have the three of swords and please don't mind the manicure. Unfortunately, I just haven't had a t hadn't had a chance to do it again. But anyway, uh, uh, three of swords here. So this is heartbreak, right? But this is where you're being validated. This is what you're being validated in terms of because oh, uh, the two two other cards have come out here for you. It's the tower, but then it's also the moon in reverse. And when I saw the moon in reverse, I was like, aha, there it is. So there seems to be something that's being uncovered here for you. Whether something is coming to light, the truth about something is coming out, or specifically it feels like there are some individuals around you that are validating your heartbreak because for, for once in your lifetime maybe, or for once in this cycle, or for once in terms of this circumstance that you're dealing with, people are starting to see, people around you are starting to see the truth of the situation. The illusion is finally starting to crumble. The tower is starting to fall and that's leaving bare or that's leaving open for observation, 
the heartbreak that you or somebody has dealt with here, okay? Validation. The validation in this situation for you, Ophiuchus, is the main point. So there could have been an individual around you, or maybe even a group of individuals around you, that may have been denying the reality of this situation may have been keeping up with the status quo in terms of this tower energy that's now falling. For some reason, and I do feel this very specifically, for some reason, the illusion just can't be kept up any longer. I don't know why. Maybe that's an effect of the tower falling, or maybe the tower falling is an effect of the fact that the illusion just can't be kept up. And it could be something as trivial as somebody got caught in a lie that created a domino effect or a chain reaction that brought down all these different pieces of the puzzle and now it's leaving things bare for everyone to see, okay? I just heard the ultimate validation. The ultimate validation. You have the Six of Cups that has just come out. It's fell out, fallen out in reverse. Um, we could be talking about a romantic relationship here, uh, a, a soulmate situation, a soulmate bond. Yep, there you go. Yeah, Two of Cups. This was a situation, and what I'm feeling specifically, this doesn't have to be the whole situation, but for somebody here specifically, y'all were in a relationship that you once thought was a true soulmate situation, maybe even a twin flame situation, but ultimately there was just a soul contract between the two of you in order to break free from some sort of chains is what I'm hearing, um, uh, uh, or to, to learn a lesson. There was, this wasn't as deep as you thought. It was necessary. There, I do feel like there was some sort of soul contract. There was absolutely a purpose for this relationship, but I don't think it, 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 it wasn't what you, it wasn't meant to be what you originally thought it was. And unfortunately, as I'm feeling through this now, it does feel like that mindset, that thought about it, that belief of what the situation was supposed to be is what's only made it, made this heartbreak in the end worse because there were certain e egoic expectations that were put onto the situation that may have strained it, may have strained the situation and made it uh, worse than it was already meant to be. But that's what happens when our egos get wrapped up in things. I mean, like, don't beat yourself up about that. Ultimately, the main goal of the situation has been achieved. I'll, I will say that, all right? And now you're coming out of it a brand new person with your feelings validated. Queen of Wands. Excellent. And so so what it feels like here is this situation was ultimately, or maybe just like on a grand scale, um, from a, a macro point of view, this situation was meant to bring, to help people get back into a sense of self-confidence um, and self-love and help to help break you out of an energy of not allowing yourself to go after what it is you truly want. And for some of you, you had to deal with the contrast in not in being denied the reality of going after what it is you want or just being denied what it is that you want altogether in order for you to basically get so fed up that you're like, fuck this. I'm not doing this shit anymore. I'm going to go after what I want now. I've spent too long kowtowing to everybody else. I've spent too long doing what everybody else wants me to do. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do now. Don't you just love how humans have these roundabout ways of getting... <laughs> like, why do we have to make things so damn difficult? All right, I'll give this. I'm going to give this one more cleansing shuffle. And then we'll get into the rest of your reading here. All right. Here we go. Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Ophiuchans at this time, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations in terms of the general energies for Ophiuchus for the month of April of 2021.
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Ophiuchus, five shuffles here. But what I am hearing for you is I heard Ophiuchus energy. Ophiuchus's energy is clear, bright, strong, humble, and validated. Excellent. Five shuffles. One. Oops. I think there's a card here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's the Six of Cups. Okay. All right. Two. For Ophiuchus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is three. For the month of April of 2021. This is four. And this is five. All right, let's cut the deck here. All right, I think I really did. did boop, I just saw justice. Oh, no, not justice. It's three of wands. I thought it was justice, but okay. Um, shoot. <laughs> uh, overall energy but I thought I mean justice does make sense because I feel like there's a level of justice that's being served in your life right now three of wands is at the bottom of the deck now um, in terms of this justice here that I thought I felt it is applying to what the three of wands is saying because the three of wands is speaking to the fact that you're able to move forward in your life now it feels like your mind is clear enough uh, 11, 11 on the counter. Your mind is clear enough for you to look forward and say, okay, what's next? Where do we go from here? Underneath the three of wands is the queen of cups. Underneath the queen of cups is the lovers. And underneath the lovers is the seven of pentacles. So yes, this could have been a, a twin flame situation that you were dealing with, or just an extreme love situation, I guess you could say. But ultimately what this is saying here is in terms of this all right, romantic relationship for whomever that resonates for. Doesn't have to be romantic, though. It could just be a partnership or it could just be interpersonal relationships as in general. But in terms of this relationship, somebody has received emotional validation, um, emotional awareness, emotional stability, emotional foundation. And that's allowing you to move forward in your life and to look forward and say, okay, what's next? All right. Yeah, underneath the lovers is the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you really have learned from the contrast here. I really do feel like whomever this message is for, you are really, really ready to let go of the past. So that six of cups that came out in the pre-shuffle in reverse, that's you being ready to let go of the past. Being feeling You feeling strong enough to move forward. And I'm, I, I'm hearing, I want to finish that phrase with move forward in some really insightful ways. So you really may have, in, in this emotional validation, you really have, may have come out of this with a stronger sense of emotional awareness and emotional intelligence. In some cases, it's feeling like this emotional validation is providing you with the strength that you need to feel confident in yourself again. Because you may have been really feeling very, very lack of of strong lack of confidence in your intuition. But what I wanna to say to you here, Ophiuchus, is that your intuition was strong and guiding you the whole way. Okay. It's rare, it's rare that um, I'll say things like e e external validation was necessary, but I feel like in this situation, it was necessary to a certain extent. Something needed to be proven to you, and I feel like you've gotten that. Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Ophiuchus, in the first half of your reading, you do have the Emperor. I'm hearing feeling strong enough to take control in your life now, to set your own boundaries, to set your own course. Divine masculine energy may have really come online here for you. Now, if you were dealing with a twin flame situation, first of all, if you're new to me and my channel, um, I see the twin flame situation as merely just a means to an end. And that end is to find wholeness and balance and union and unity within yourself. And so what I'm feeling for some of you here is that 
in dealing with this twin flame situation, your emotional reality was validated. Your feminine aspects, your intuition, your emotions have been validated somehow. And that's allowing you to step more into your emperor or divine masculine power. Because now it feels like now that this validation has come through, now there's really a, a reason to protect it. Not as if, it's not to say that there wasn't a reason before, but you were really at odds with yourself before. And now that you have this validation, now that you have this sense of, oh my God, my intuition was right, or oh my God, my feelings were right. Now there's, a, it's almost as if there's like a mad dash or a mad scramble to put some boundaries in place to protect yourself, to protect this, this emotional reality, this emotional side, this feminine side. The emperor is coupled with the wheel of fortune. I just heard this was the strength that you needed all along. Now that your emperor, your masculine, your divine masculine elements are coming online or are settling into place, it's changing the karmic cycle quite drastically, I want to say. And that makes perfect sense because there are greater boundaries in place now. There's greater self-awareness. There's greater self-preservation that is in play here. And that's going to change the dynamic completely. That's going to change all of the energies that it's going to change all of the potential energies that will be able to align with you from here on out, moving forward, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Ophiuchus, we have the Empress. There's the Divine Feminine aspect. The Empress is coupled with the Ace of Wands. So the other reason, the other part of why, the other part of why you may be in this energy of really trying to protect yourself right now is because, again, because your feminine side, the divine feminine within you has been validated, now you want to move forward more with this. It's almost as if I, what, I, what I'm hearing is you want to lead with this. And that's okay. That's beautiful. But there needs to be a strong defense system in play. And you recognize that now. You understand that now. You're willing to do that now. You see the value in that now. Again, this, is, this really feels like a really roundabout way of getting here, but... It's almost, it almost feels like where at one point you may have been very vehemently against masculine energy, masculine principles, and what the masculine may stand for. Now, for whatever has happened for you up until this point, now it's like you're more enthusiastic about allowing the two, the masculine and the feminine within you, to coexist. I can feel this enthusiasm with you, within you, but I'm not exactly sure what the specific details of that are. All I know is that now you're ready to do it. Now you're like, okay, I understand this now. I, for some of you, you're, you're, you are seeing masculine energy and masculine entities in a very different way. And it's a much more positive way. You can look at twisted masculine individuals and see them for who they are and understand where they are without getting triggered any longer. You can also look at feminine aspects and see how twisted and, 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 and negatively aspected they can be and see it in a different way and not be triggered by it. There's a strong sense of balance here. Beautiful. Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Ophiuchus, is the fool. But what I'm feeling for this for you here, your challenge is getting ready to embark on a new journey. This is very exciting. I feel very excited for you. You may feel very excited because of this. The Fool is coupled with the Four of Cups. Why, how are you gonna make me eat my words like that? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
okay, well, this might be exciting for you, but there is still a part of you that's like, mm, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. That's weird. Because I was not expecting that at all. So, I guess what I want to say in terms of this challenge for you, Ophiuchus, is ain't nothing to it but to do it. Like, you might be excited, but I feel like what's happening here is there is apprehension in just taking that leap. That's what I'm feeling. Like, you're literally standing on the precipice. You're right at the edge. And all you have to do is just jump. But I feel like there's a little bit of... There's some energies here of feeling like... You need to prepare more, but at this point, you're just over-preparing. And at this point, you're just kind of wasting time. You're stalling a little bit. Just go ahead and take the leap. That's literally all that's necessary right now. You don't have to have all the details in play. For some of you, this masculine energy that is now coming online for you um, might be going to a little bit of extremes here. And I don't, I'm, I'm not going to label that as wrong or bad. Um, I understand why it's happening because it's new. And there's a very, like I said, there's a very strong, defensive, protective energy that has come online here for you that you may not have ever really, really experienced before. So you're still trying to find, you know, fine tune that. Okay. But at this point, what it boils down to is just take the leap. That's it. That's all that's necessary right now. You're over preparing at this point. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Ophiuchus, we have the world. See? See? You're over-preparing. You've reached the end of the cycle. Now it's time to take the leap. Because from the world, things come to completion, and you reach the end of a cycle, and then you are, you are invited to start a new one. That's what this is. The fool. Okay. I heard it again, but you're over preparing at this point. The world is coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. New start. I just heard brand new you. And in terms of that, what I want to say is this is a new version of you. So it makes perfect sense that the new you would take this leap. The old you wouldn't. No, of course not. But that's not you anymore. You're a brand new person. You're a different version of yourself than you were in the past. So allow yourself to act like it. Yeah, people are going to be surprised. You're going to surprise yourself too. But remember, this is the new version of you, not the old version. Much more balanced, much more stable, grounded even. Go ahead and take that leap of faith. I promise you it's going to be worth it. Second half of your reading. First set of surrounding energies. <laughs> All right, well, you have the Nine of Swords. Okay, fine, let's talk about this then. What are you so afraid of? Keep in mind that this Nine of Swords energy is, a, is, is our nightmares, is a self-fulfilling prophecy. So if you're sitting there chicken-littling it, talking about the sky is falling, well, eventually something's going to fall and it's going to bop you right in the head. And then you'll just turn around and be like, see, I told you so. But then the universe is like, yeah, of course that happened because you kept declaring it, because you kept calling it out. You get what you believe in. Nine of Swords is coupled with the Two of Pentacles. This is also an element of you over-preparing, or at least trying to over-prepare. But the element of the Fool, in terms of that leap of faith that we're talking about here, you need to understand that the universe does in fact have your back. And, it's, and I literally feel like you're standing at the edge and then some force is just going to come and push you off.
second set of surrounding energies for you, Ophiuchus, in the second half of your reading, you do have the Knight of Wands. This is feeling like more validation because you're feeling inspired to move in a certain direction or to do something, to, to go after something. I don't know what this is for you, but this, this right here is saying that your validation is saying that your inspiration, I just heard, is well thought out and is well placed. You don't need any more validation than that. The only proof that you really need or the only validation that you really need is that which comes from within. If it feels right for you, then do it. This is no one else's decision to make but yours. The Knight of Wands is coupled with the Devil. This is the energy that holds you back from doing this, from moving forward, from taking your leap of faith. And it's a, and it, and this could and the devil could be representing an overabundance of caution. At some point, you're just gonna have to take a risk. But see, then this devil energy comes through and says, "Do you really want to take that risk? I mean, like, think about what could happen. I mean, like, think about where you could turn out. Like, what?" I don't know, man. Are you sure you want to do this? Fuck this guy. He's just trying to siphon power from you. He's just trying to hold you back. He's just trying to keep you chained. Usurp your freedom. And think, let me, let me, fine. Fine. Let me play devil's advocate for a second. What's the worst that could happen? Oh no, you make a mistake? Oh shit, you take that leap and damn, you made a mistake and now, now you got a mess to clean up. So the fuck what? Isn't that how we learn? I was pr I'm pretty sure that's how we learn here. I'm pretty sure that's how we experience things. I'm pretty sure that's how we get better at something. We just go for it. We make a mistake, we fine tune, we go for it again. And hopefully we do a little better next time, right? Was that playing devil's advocate? I don't know. Anyway, your challenge here, Ophiuchus, in the second half of your reading is the moon. So things may not be as they seem, but also the moon is asking you to trust your intuition. That intuition that was just validated not too long ago, right? The moon is coupled with the Five of Cups. You know, the Five of Cups is giving me an energy of like kind of feeling like, well, shit. I mean, you might as well take the leap now. You know what I mean? Whatever is represented by those three cups that have spilled out, that's spilled out, that's gone. And quite frankly, you didn't need it anyway. And for some reason, I'm feeling like that's part of where your validation is coming from. You didn't need that to begin with. And what you're left with are the two cups, though that are still standing, which are these two right here, the emperor and the empress, your inner masculine, your inner feminine, that balance between the two. So in terms of some sort of situation here in which maybe you felt like you needed it, you were validated when you lost it. Because now, not only are you still standing, but you're much better off. You are much stronger, much more balanced, much more healed, much more integrated. So why not trust your intuition here? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Ophiuchus, in the second half of your reading. <laughs> you have the Five of Wands. This is internal conflict for the most part. That's what I'm feeling. But this is your mind getting in the way. For some of you, this is... Uh, 
yes, the masculine energy within you is coming online, but it's being a little overprotective. You have to find, you have to fine tune that balance. This also could represent the differing of opinion of others around you, but I just feel like this is mostly inner. And it, and even though we're talking about all this energy of you being more balanced and integrated, this still makes sense that there would be a, uh, there would be an inner narrative of inner conflict. Um, because this is a new level. Because this is a new sense of balance and integration within yourself. You're still trying to, again, fine tune that balance. This feels like, this feels like newborn brand new. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's a good thing. You got to start somewhere. Don't, don't beat yourself up about that. Five of Wands is coupled with. Oof. What? The Five of Pentacles. Well, that's why. There is still some, there's still some lack mentality going on here, but uh, you're, fre you're coming out of that fresh and new. Like, I feel like this is one of the first times in your life that you're able to really face that element of not feeling good enough, of not feeling worthy enough, of not being skilled enough, of... I think that's, that's really what's going on here. That's really what's going on here. You're finally at this point in your life facing all of the ways that you felt inadequate. Unvalidated. I want to pull one more card here. Oh! I'm glad I did. It's the Six of Wands. Victory overcoming this. I do want to say, Ophiuchus, that your last three cards, minus this one, was a five, and a five, and a five. Big, big change in terms of validation. So maybe, just maybe, your validation is coming. Maybe you haven't reached this validation yet. But you will very soon. I love that. All right, Ophiuchus, let's close this out for you here. Get you some oracle guidance from the unicorns. Yeah, three shuffles. One. Two. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, for my Ophiuchans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April of 2021. You got two, and I'm going to read both of them. First, you got Strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. And you have hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. And hope came out two other times this month for two of the other signs. And each time I pointed out that to me, hope in this deck is the most powerful image because of the effect of this unicorn's mane having been shaved. But now it's growing back. It's, to me, that's just a very, very powerful image. All right. Um, we're going to read hope first, and then we'll read strength. You have been through a challenging period, but now the darkness is lifting and a new day is dawning. Fill your heart with hope, for the worst is now behind you, and this turning point brings new possibilities for peace, happiness, and prosperity. If you have felt broken, you will return to wholeness. If your life has been chaos, order will soon be restored. If you have been in scarcity, abundance will begin to flow. If you have felt lost, you will find your way. This unicorn brings the reassurance of a new beginning and the blessings that are to come. He asks that you focus purely on the outcome you want. Don't look back, only ahead to your new destination. Turn your face to the light and take one step at a time, knowing that with each stride, your life will be easier. 
Be patient on your journey and know the unicorns are by your side every step of the way. Okay, and finally, we'll read Strength. When pressure is applied to coal, it transforms into glittering diamonds. We are similarly tested at points on our soul journey so our hearts can let in more love, our wisdom can deepen, and we can rise higher into our light. You may be facing a challenge, be grieving for a loved one, or have had your heart broken. You may be feeling scared and alone. Call on the unicorns to hold you, love you, and support you. Let them carry you on their backs as you go through this deep initiation. Let yourself grieve or feel vulnerable for as long as you need to in order to fully heal. Know that you have the strength to come through on the other side, and you will. You have been through many trials in this lifetime, and you have prevailed through all of them. When you are ready, look for the hidden gift in this experience and the reason your soul called it in for you at this time. Know that just like that piece of coal, you will emerge from this experience glittering and bright like a diamond. So there you have it, Ophiuchus. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic month. If you are interested in getting a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. Also, I encourage you guys to check me out on Patreon, yeah? Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. That link can also be found in the description box. With that said, though, I, again, hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>